is not that he's probably going to come out with some sort of Travis Scott branded PlayStation 5, which, let's be honest, would be dope. It's that he's coming out with a brand new Nike collaboration that's not only a Nike dunk, but it's also a PlayStation Nike Travis Scott dunk. I honestly didn't think that things could get much more hype than the Dior Air Jordan 1s, but this could do that. What's up, everybody? I'm Seth Fowler, and this is Weekly Heat. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. Starting off the stories for today, we've got some brand new information from Yeezy Mafia about an upcoming Adidas Yeezy 700 V3 called the Kyanite. This 700 V3 comes in primarily a white or maybe an off-white with some blue accents along the upper. I find it kind of interesting that Yeezy only seems to use bright blues on Yeezy 700 V3s and not really any other models. Maybe it's a coincidence, maybe there's a reason for it, but I definitely wouldn't be mad at a bright blue 350. Hopefully that's in the pipeline somewhere. The construction of the Kyanite 700 V3 seems very similar, if not identical, to previous 700 V3s, and even though they don't show it in this image, I would assume that the shoe features the infinity loop lacing system rather than standard laces. Aesthetically, the sneaker is fine. It's not too much of a departure from any of the previous 700 V3s, but I don't think that's a bad thing, and the 700 V3s are one of the most popular Yeezy silhouettes at the moment. Also, another thing I'm not totally totally sure about on this shoe is whether the RPU midfoot cage glows like it does on previous 700 V3s. I would expect that it would because why would they change it now and even in this rendering it kind of looks like it glows but we'll just have to wait and see. And unfortunately we won't know how long we'll have to wait to find out because there's no official release date for this shoe as of yet. Expect this shoe however to release sometime in 2021. Next up we've got some more Yeezy news from Yeezy Mafia, this time about an upcoming 700 V2 called the Creams. So the Yeezy 700 V2 Cream is releasing sometime in early 2021 and bears a striking resemblance to the Yeezy 700 V2 Statics. In fact, if you ask me, it could be a restock. However, knowing Kanye and Adidas, it's not surprising that they're releasing this shoe as a brand new colorway, even though it looks exactly the same. This 700 V2 comes in a light gray, white, and cream upper, and I've actually already done a review on this shoe. It's my review of the Yeezy 700 V2 Static, so if you'd like to check that video out, there will be a link at the top of the screen. It's exactly the same, but seriously, if you want to check out that video, it's worth watching. And again, the Yeezy 700 V2 Creams are supposed to release sometime in early 2021. However, you can grab a pair on StockX right now. I don't know how much they're going for, but just type in Static and you'll find it. After that, we've got some exciting news, especially for YouTubers like myself. It looks like Hot Ones, yes, YouTube Hot Ones, is getting their own collaboration with Reebok. If you're not familiar, Hot Ones is a YouTube show and now TV show hosted by Sean Evans where he interviews celebrities while they eat progressively hotter wings. Over the last three or four years, this show has absolutely blown up, so it's no surprise that they're getting a sneaker collaboration. Well, I guess it kind of is because you don't immediately think Hot Wings interviews sneakers. So in that way, it's surprising, but it's not surprising that they're the people to get this collab. The collaboration itself takes place on a Reebok Shaq Gnosis, and it comes in primarily black leathers and black suede, accented by yellows, reds, and oranges. I'm assuming the accent color choices, like the reds and the yellows, are for hot sauces or hot wings. I mean, that would make total sense, but who knows? And to be honest with you, it's actually kind of fire. In fact, it's one of the best chicken-themed sneakers I've ever seen. And surprisingly, I've seen a lot of chicken-themed sneakers. If you're a hardcore Hot Ones fan and you want to rep the show or rep that face that Shaq made on the show, make sure to pick up a pair for yourself on November 19th when they officially release. So after months of waiting, we finally have a release date for the upcoming Nike SB Dunk Low Elephant. This Nike SB Dunk Low is heavily inspired by the Atmos Nike Air Max 1 and features almost the exact same color blocking. The shoe itself comes in white and black leather paneling around the toe and the midfoot respectively and also features elephant print on the mudguard and on the heel. But the main pop piece of this sneaker is the Tiffany Blue Nike swoosh and the Tiffany Nike Air logo on the tongue. And while personally I really prefer the Atmos Air Max 1s, I think this is a really close second and this is a shoe that I'm definitely going to go for because I missed out on the AM ones. Something that's kind of interesting about this shoe is that it doesn't seem to be a collaboration with Atmos like the original Air Max 1 was. However, it's the exact same colorway. And to be fair, while it's not illegal because it's still Nike's sneaker, it does seem kind of like a bite, and I'm not a huge fan of that part. Maybe Atmos doesn't care, maybe they do, I don't know, but it's a dope looking sneaker nonetheless, and it releases sooner than you would think on November 11th. Continuing on with the Nike Dunk news, we've got some new information about an upcoming Nike Dunk Low called the Medium Curries. I think it's fair to say that the naming of this shoe is very literal. It's a light brown suede shoe accented by white leather as well as light tan on the Nike swoosh. And while it's definitely a simple Nike Dunk Low, it is a hot shoe. I love that sneaker. I know Dunks have been hyped 
again for a while now, but it really feels like we're finally getting to that point where the dunks that are releasing are consistently fire. This isn't a collab, this isn't anything crazy, but the color blocking and the suede's used on this shoe and the colors that they used, everything about this sneaker is just it's perfect. I love it. But as with most Nike dunks, the chance of me getting these for retail is basically none, but it's a great looking sneaker nonetheless, and this is one of those shoes that I would definitely consider paying resale for. As of right now, not much is known about the release date for the Nike Dunk Low PRM Medium Curry, but expect it to release sometime in 2021. After that, we've got some new information from Sneaker Files and Z Sneakerhead Z about an upcoming Air Jordan 1. And apparently this Jordan 1 is a Paisley themed Air Jordan 1, which is definitely an interesting concept. Based on their rendering of this shoe, the sneaker looks to come with the white leather upper accented by black leather around the mud guard, eyelets, and the Nike swoosh, but the defining detail of the shoe is the blue paisley pattern on the heel. I love this rendering. I think this rendering looks dope, and I think if the shoe looked just like this, it would be great. But as you guys probably know with Jordan brand and other sneaker brands, usually the rendering is more of an artistic representation of what the shoe could look like based on what the people who are designing it want it to look like, versus what the sneaker might actually end up looking like. And as good as I think this rendering actually is, I just have trouble believing that the sneaker is actually going to look exactly like this. It'll probably look similar, but not exactly like this. At least, well, who knows. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see, and unfortunately that means waiting until spring 2021. Up next, we've got a first look from Soul by JC at an upcoming sneaker collaboration from Bodega and Nike. I've got to say that over the last couple months, Bodega has become one of my favorite sneaker boutiques and I've never even been there. They just keep putting out awesome collaborations. Now to be fair, most of those collaborations are New Balance collaborations, but I mean, so far they've knocked them all out of the park. And it looks like Bodega is getting even deeper into the hype sneaker scene with their brand new collaboration on a pair of Nike Dunks. That's right, there are two upcoming Bodega Nike Dunk highs releasing, and both of them are crazy. These Nike Dunk highs come in a very sort of cobbled together look and feature like five different types of leather on the upper. It's actually a really sick look and it reminds me a little bit of the box Troll Roshis. Each leather panel has a different color and a different texture and they're all sewn together in different ways and they feature this really cool thick stitching detail. It's a sick collaboration and it's not something that you see very often. The lateral side of each shoe features a mini tortoise shell style Nike swoosh and the medial side of each shoe features the bodega branding sort of pressed or burned in to it. Like I said, there are two different pairs of this collaboration releasing, a primarily brown pair and a primarily white pair, and both pair feature different materials on the upper. Personally, I think I'm more into the brown pair. I feel like that's more different and more out there, but the white pair is also pretty solid. And I actually wouldn't be surprised if one of these pairs ends up being a friends and family pair, but I don't know for sure. I'm just making a guess. Bodega's done it again. They've created another insanely awesome collaboration, and I'm so excited to see what they do next. Congratulations to them for just putting out consistently great stuff. And if you're looking to grab one of these Bodega Nike Dunk Highs for yourself, like I definitely will be, they should be releasing sometime before the end of this year. After that, we've got yet another leak from Yeezy Mafia, this time of a Yeezy boot that apparently was supposed to release in Season 8. This Yeezy boot that was presumably scrapped from Yeezy Season 8 features what seems to be an EVA or rubber midsole and outsole tooling, which kind of looks like a Yeezy 700. And the upper of the shoe is equally as interesting because it features what seems to be canvas panels that are sort of sewn together and don't really seem to have any structure. I've got to say, it's a very futuristic looking boot, and while it's kind of wild and kind of out there, it's something that I would definitely like to try for myself. It honestly kind of looks like a moon boot or something, or something that an astronaut would wear, which, actually, come to think of it, I wonder if Kanye designed, like, an astronaut suit. I feel like it would look very similar to what he already designs. <laughs> Regardless, whether we like this boot or not, it seems like this design was actually scrapped and will no longer be releasing, but you never know, it's possible that this shows up randomly in Season 9, we'll just have to wait and see. And then finally, rounding off today's video with the main story, it looks like Travis Scott is not only collaborating with PlayStation, but also becoming one of their creative directors, as well as creating a PlayStation Nike Dunk Low. I know that's a lot of crazy information to take in at once, but does it really surprise you? A few days ago, PlayStation announced their partnership with Travis Scott in the way of a Twitter video. And in this video, we not only saw Travis Scott playing a PlayStation 5, which makes sense why he got a PlayStation 5 so early and put it out on social media about a month ago, but it also showed some PlayStation devs wearing Travis Scott gear. Now, most of the gear that these devs were wearing were Cactus Jack shirts and also Cactus Jack Air Jordan 1s. However, most interestingly, the last dev was actually wearing an unreleased and unseen Travis Scott PlayStation Nike Dunk Low. And it's crazy crazy to me that somehow Travis Scott being a creative director at PlayStation somehow got overshadowed by a shoe, but it definitely did, and this shoe, whether it releases or not, is definitely going to be a grail for a lot of people. Now from what we can tell from this relatively grainy and black and white video, it looks like there is actually a Nike 
Nike Dunk Low that features a backwards Travis Scott Nike swoosh as well as PlayStation branding on the heel. Other than those two details, however, the shoe does look relatively simple and kind of unlike some of his previous collaborations that featured a lot of different weird stuff like stash pockets and paisley. Now based on this image, the shoe does appear to be two-toned, however we don't know what those two tones of color are. We can only guess because it's a black and white image. I would think based on the lightness of the light panels and the darkness of the Nike swoosh that the lighter panels are white and the Nike swoosh is black, however that middle color, while it looks gray in this image, I wouldn't be surprised if it's something like a blue to match PlayStation. But unfortunately, until we see better images of this shoe in color, we're not gonna know for sure. While I think that it's very possible that this shoe is just a friends and family PlayStation exclusive and will never release to the public, I wouldn't be surprised if Travis Scott shows some images of this shoe on his Instagram and by the time this video comes out, it could have already happened, who knows. But in the unlikely event that this shoe does actually release to the public, I can almost guarantee you that it's gonna be extremely limited, extremely hard to get, and one of the most hyped up sneakers of the year. Man, I hope it does though. That would be one of the craziest triple collaborations we've ever seen. But that pretty much wraps up Weekly Heat for this week. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on all of the stories that we talked about in today's video, including that crazy PlayStation Travis Scott dunk. That shit was gonna be nuts. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.